Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday, October 24th, and it is peak week for me. So, um, I have a new workout plan, I have a new meal plan for this week, lots of cardio involved. Um, but I know that Wednesday is my last workout day, so I'm really, really happy for that. So I'm working out today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Then no more workouts before show. I'm going to start packing today, and I'm going to get my lashes done today. So I'll show you that later on today. I'll show you the food, what I'm eating, how I package, how I prep it, um, all that good stuff. But right now, I'm going to go train, um, get that out of the way early, because I know that later on I'll probably be low energy or tired. So I'm going to go do that now and I'll talk to you guys soon. my first run at my peak week workout it was a whole bunch of crap that I didn't really want to do but got it done um, it took felt like it took forever and um, now I'm going to go outside and do 40 minutes of cardio and then come back and eat I have curtains so I did my lashes um, it took a long time about like an hour per eye so I was lying there for about two hours um, the girl I went to is really good her name is Morgan Rackley and she has a place called um, the lash designery she is really really good very gentle and very precise I love 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 them it's Tuesday day two of my peak week or week of show yesterday I did my lashes came home and was completely tired so I decided to read a book and head to bed after my lashes yesterday I stopped at Target and I got a couple things which I'll show you um, I got a couple oils so almond oil walnut oil pumpkin seed oil and pistachio oil and if you are um, trying to lose weight or on any healthy eating kick um, these oils um, for as your healthy fats are really really good they're amazing if you are um, currently using like olive oil or coconut oil for your healthy fats I would encourage you to try um, these different kind of oils um, because or these more exotic oils I guess you would call it because yes while avocado and nuts are good choices for your healthy fats oils are like a step above they are really really good for your skin for your hair and for helping you to burn fat I also said I would talk about um, my week of show eating and how I am cooking and portioning my food and this is not how I normally eat and this is not how everyone does peak week but this is how I find it easiest um, it's a little bit like OCD but I feel like when my 
carbs come when my carbs get low I don't think as clearly and I get kind of loopy so I like to be as organized as possible so that I don't um, miss anything or I don't forget anything so here's how I do it I do Ziploc bags and I write out everything I need to eat on each day so I had Monday Monday's bags yesterday um, today's Tuesday and these are bags for Wednesday which I'm gonna portion out soon Wednesday meal one six ounces protein an eighth cup starch half cup of veg and I have each meal because each meal is different I got my plan and all the instructions are here um, so it's very very detailed and a lot to keep track of if you are busy or if you are not not thinking clearly or if you're a low carb or whatever I know it looks very neurotic but um, that's how I like to do it that's how I like to keep track of it during peak week um, I definitely do not eat like that or put my my food in Ziploc bags on a normal basis but um, this week I'm doing that and plus I feel like it gives me less dishes to wash up um, less work to do this week and so I can focus on um, staying positive probably like do some reading and um, really hitting my workouts as best as possible and going to bed early I have tilapia there defrosting and some lean ground beef so I'm gonna cook some of that and I have some asparagus and chicken in the fridge so I'm good for that um, yeah so I'm gonna cook that now and just for this week just for peak week I'm not putting any seasoning on my fish or anything like that my plan actually allows seasoning on my food Monday to Wednesday um, but Thursday Friday Saturday there should be no seasoning on seasoning on my food um, so and because I'm gonna have some of this on Thursday I'm just deciding not to put any seasoning on it from now because um, it's just easier and I actually don't mind the taste of bland chicken and bland fish So you've seen me cook beef like a million times in my previous videos um, It's just this 96% lean ground beef I'm just doing two packs because I don't want to have too much food I'm leaving on Thursday and what I'm gonna do is just cook it in the pan with no seasonings Nothing on it as I said before I have some asparagus in the fridge, but I'm gonna cook up um, these French green beans because um, just a variety so what I'm gonna do is steam them in here um, so that I don't have to put any oil or I don't know I find that when I bake them they don't come out as nice so when I steam them they're gonna retain all the nutrients and get bright green and yeah so meanwhile um, my food is cooking I'm gonna make some green juice for the hobby because I feel very selfish this week I've just been like focusing on what I need to eat or what I need to do so I am gonna make him some green juice so that when I leave that he will have his veggies because he doesn't eat veggies if it's not blended and handed to him in a nice little mason jar so I'm gonna make him some green juice with these power greens we got from Costco um, uh, pineapple probably make him like uh, two big batches I'm gonna put some avocado in here before it goes bad I have some more there I'm gonna put a uh, grapefruit um, and this before it goes bad some celery that's like almost going bad or if not bad already and some cucumbers <laughs> nine little green juices he can just grab and go and take to work I'm gonna stick them in the fridge and probably put a couple of them in the freezer for him I'm going to portion out some meals into my baggies and I don't always I don't eat like right out of the plastic bag if I don't have to if I'm at home I, can, I usually put this in a plate and microwave it and make sure it's hot and nice but if I do get busy because you know when you're traveling why am I holding the camera there? I should point it to me. You know when you're traveling and you get really busy packing and then things come up or you never know what might happen. I just want to be prepared so that if I need to run out and do anything, I can take the little plastic bags with me and they don't take up much space. I can just put them in my purse and go. 
yeah I don't really mind um, eating this way as I said before um, I know some people think it's like gross and how can you ever do that but for me it was a gradual change it's not like I went from junk food and sugary foods yesterday to like completely no not completely bland food today it was a gradual change and I've been in prep for um, a long time now so my palate has um, gotten adjusted to eating this way and the taste of like natural foods so it's not bad at all okay so I portioned out um, my meals for Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and I have some beef left I have a, um, a couple pieces of fish left and I have chicken left asparagus left and a shit ton of green beans but it's okay because Jamie will eat it. He is totally okay with eating this food. What he'll do is just put some like barbecue sauce on top of it, some ketchup, mustard, or like some salsa and make it into something fun. So he's okay with eating this, which is good because I have a lot of food left over. Um, so my Wednesday meals, shit, today's not Wednesday, Tuesday meals um, look like this, which I'm probably going to eat soon. Tuesday meal four. And some of the meals call for like a tablespoon of good fat. So I'm going to add that to the meat after or, you know, if I heat it up, I'll add it to it after. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to sit down for a moment and enjoy some tea in my favorite cup from the Created Co. And talk to you guys about um, my peak week. And I'm in my Game of Thrones sweater. I call my Game of Thrones setter because it's like this. I feel like I'm like Jon Snow. Winter is coming. Yeah. Um, so uh, I wanted to talk to you about peak week. So as you can see, there are lots of things that go into peak week. Lots of primping and pramping and cooking and portioning out and being kind of exact with your meals and your workouts and what you're doing. And it's really easy to kind of get caught up in this me, 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 everything revolves around me and, um, you know, I'm doing a show and this needs to happen and very um, self-centered. And if you are competing or if you have a goal and if you're trying to lose weight and you're kind of cooking and dieting and that kind of thing and trying to, you know, do the things you need to do to reach a goal, it's easy to kind of get caught up in this whirlwind of me, me, me. And... Um, you know, it's important to remind ourselves that not everything revolves around you or me. And, you know, people are having real problems out there and it's a privilege, it's a luxury to be able to choose what we eat and to be able to exercise the way we do, um, you know, to train the way we do and do the things we do. It's a, it's a privilege to be able to, to compete. Um, to be able to go to the gym, to be able to work out, to be able to cook clean, healthy food. You know, sometimes you are on a weight loss journey and you may think that your husband or your spouse or a family member isn't super supportive. You know, it might be good for you to think about if you are being supportive of them and their goals. Um, sometimes our spouses are eating things that we want to eat and we can't eat and doing things that, you know, we wish you could do. Remember that this is a choice. The way that you're eating is a choice. The things that you're doing is a choice. And if you're not enjoying it, maybe it's not the right way for you, you know, because this should be at the end of the day fun. It should not feel like torture um, or any kind of big, huge sacrifice. Yeah. So my point is that it's important to realize that the way you want to eat, the way you want to exercise is a choice. Nobody's forcing you to do it. Nobody's forcing me to compete. It's a challenge that I took up upon myself. Um, my husband does not eat the way I eat. Um, sometimes he has like ice cream and snacks and all this stuff in front of me. But and yes, it's tempting. But you know, I'm competing. He's not competing. And it's important to just um, be supportive of each other. You are hating your life or um, doing things that don't make you happy and fulfilled. Then maybe you shouldn't be doing them. Or maybe they're too extreme. At the end of the day, you should you should feel satisfied in what you've done. You should be happy with what you've done and feel grateful for the people in your life that love you and support you and be grateful for what you have because it's really a privilege. It's really a privilege to 
be able to get out of bed and choose to exercise and choose to eat a salad and choose to eat um, good healthy food and choose to take care of yourself okay I think I'm gonna end the video here I was planning to like film the whole peak week but I don't think it's very interesting you guys have seen the major points the workouts you saw how I prepped the food um, I'm traveling on Thursday so I probably won't film tomorrow or Thursday but I will film as I touch down in Texas and try to get as much footage from the show as possible so if you like this video comment below give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one